and says, Hi, Betty, do you want to do poppers? Do you guys want to do poppers with me? No. I'm Asa Betty, and this is my first and last trip. Shit. My roommate wants to take me on the bus ride, ferry ride to Fire Island in drag. On this bus in the morning is a gaggle of gays, or what I would call fagatrons. And what I mean by that, they're almost like a mechanical creature where they all look the same. They have the same haircut, the same perfume, the same shoes, the same sounds, the same the same everything. And then together they create this big, strong, Fagatron. I was wearing this on my head. This is headache ridden. And that is where I discover that my bladder is full and I need to go pee. I have to wait because I won some kind of award because of these horns on my head. I finally pose, do my thing, and I'm in a rage and we run to the hotel room so I can go pee. Go pee and I'm done. And this is when the story takes a twist. My roommate and my friend decide that maybe we should take shrooms because you know when you take shrooms and you're in nature, it's supposed to be this magical adventure. So I say, okay, and I'm brushing my hair and I'm noticing that my hair is growing and my little bald spot is slowly disappearing and I'm like, wow. And then I slowly realize that my face is like multiplying, kind of like a tunnel where there's like my face inside a face of myself and then myself inside myself and then myself inside myself and I'm trying to not freak out. And that's when I realized, oh, I'm on shrooms and this is what a trip looks like. And um, we go to the beach and it is beautiful. The sand feels amazing. And my friend is explaining the stars and everything he says in the stars, I see. I really do see like flying Pegasus and uh, centaurs. And then to my right, I. I have my roommate who is dancing to his own personal drummer is basically like rubbing himself and like, do you feel it? Do you love it? And I'm just looking at him. I'm like, no, not really. But the best part is the water. Because I'm a child of the 80s, I really did see the unicorns in the water from the last unicorn. So we leave the beach and we're going back to the hotel. Mind you, I'm a um, person who counts in my head to soothe myself. So we're in this hotel and there's a series of doors and they're going two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 16, and they're multiplying beyond numbers that I can actually comprehend and I'm kind of freaking out. And that is when a friend of mine, kind of like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, is just standing inside of a door that's open and it says, Hi, Betty, do you want to do poppers? Do you guys want to do poppers with me? No, I do not. Poppers is sold as a VHS cleaner and it's a liquid and I think you sniff it and people get high and horny. So as she's saying, do you want any poppers? She's actually like luring us into her room. We go, we sit and we enjoy ourselves. As she's telling her stories and trying to convince us of poppers and laughing, she's literally like shifting between all these famous people. She's like Julie Andrews, she's Lucille Ball, her big old tits are coming out with Dolly Parton, and then giving me this underlining fear of Gollum. And so children, the moral of the story is, if you count numbers to keep yourself calm, don't do shrooms. Tales from the...